Hey guys, for a while I have been trying to find ways to import my FBX files from Blender to Unreal, but keeping the original transform, and I think I found a way. Let me show you. I'm in Blender, the scene is the one from the last exercise. I'm going to select one of these outdoor chairs and set its pivot point sensor at its lowest point. And for this, I'm going to use a great add-on called Asset Creation Toolset by Ivan Vostrikov. I'll leave the link in the description, he always updates it, and you can download it for free or donate if you wish. So with my chair selected, I go into the Asset Creation Toolset tab. In the Origin Tools section, I'm going to click on Middle for X and Y and Min for Z. So my gizmo will be placed center at the lowest point of the geometry. You can visualize your gizmo by going into Gizmos and tick Move. Then go to File, Export, FBX, I'll give it the name of SM underscore furniture underscore outdoor, then limit to selected object, set forward to X forward and up to Z up, so we can match the Unreal system coordinates, apply transform and in geometry, I'll set a smoothing to face. My Unreal project, I'll delete these two chairs and my coffee table for this example, then go into file, import into level, and I look for the FBX file I just exported. It is going to ask me to select a folder. I'm just going to add it to meshes in the wood lodge folder. Hit OK, and this window will open. So in the scene tab, if I open this root node, you will see my mesh, and to the right side, there are some options I can modify. I want to set my hierarchy type to create level actors, so my actors are placed individually in the scene, but you can also select to create a blueprint asset or attach components to one actor if you wish, but I prefer to create level actors. Then I want to tick Bake Pivot in Vertex. This will allow me to keep Blender's pivot point, but bear in mind that only works for static meshes. After that, I go into the Static Meshes tab, untick Generate Missing Collision and Generate Light Maps UV. I'm not going to need it for this project. Finally, I go into the Materials tab and untick all the materials, because I don't want Unreal to create these materials too. Then click Import. You will see that my chair has been added to the scene already and it's positioned correctly. Also, the pivot point is where I had it in my Blender scene. In my content folder, you will see that I've got the mesh and this FBX scene import data, which is the FBX file source. Now let's go back to Blender and export the other two pieces, applying the same process with the gizmo and export. In Unreal, I can either right-click on the static mesh or this FBX scene import data and select re-import. You will see that now I've got two new meshes to be added, but when I click import, it only adds the meshes to my content folder, but not to my scene. To add them to my scene, I need to delete this scene import data, go into file, import into level, and select the same FBX. Now you will see that both chairs and table has been added to the scene. So for me, this will improve my workflow, especially because I've got lots of FBX files and I can set my whole scene in Blender, bring it into Unreal and I'll get the same pivot point. Also, I'm still not convinced about the USD workflow because of some crashes I've experienced and Datasmith is only if I get a 3ds Max, SketchUp or Revit file. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and thank you to my patrons for their support. Keep active, keep creative and hope to see you soon. Take care.